President Tinubu, the nation calls for your undivided attention as you embark on a private visit to France. Our beloved Nigeria is grappling with unprecedented challenges that demand urgent and decisive action. Kidnapping and abductions are the order of the day. From Lagos to Kaduna, Taraba, and violent and criminal activities have pervaded our land. Even in the heart of our nation's capital, the audacity of kidnappers has become a sinister reality. Striking fear into the heart of our people, our citizens are living in constant fear, unsure of their safety and the safety of their loved ones. This is not the Nigeria we dream of, not the renewed hope that was promised. We applaud the gallantry of our security. Okay, well, um, I'll take you back to so that we can listen to Sheo Kimbalue of Channels Television very well on this particular. I'm sure some of you must have seen this video. However, in the course of this video, I want you to keep dropping your comment, make them simple and civil. Um, the president is on a private visit to France. France is not does not did not recognize his presence in the state in the in the country, so it's actually a private one. Um, it's as though he did not travel. Uh, it's as though he didn't travel as the president of Nigeria, but as you know, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Mr. Bola uh, Ahmed Tinubu. That's one on the on that's on one side. But then we also saw uh, uh, senior advocate of Nigeria and human rights lawyer uh, Femi Falano. You know, uh, make some statements about this disgrace that the president had brought upon Nigeria by visiting France privately without France recognizing, you know, her, his presence in the state. I don't know, there has not been any response to all of that and that's the way, uh, you know, the system has always been anyway. When it doesn't, it just, well, well, leave them alone, you don't answer them. If you answer them, that's when you are giving them a, you know, I, uh, you know. But then I want us to listen to this. You see, We'll keep talking. And it's good that all these things are on record and the internet will never forget. And that's the truth. So it's okay that we just keep saying our mind. Let's just keep saying what we need to say and what we have to say. But then make them simple and simple. So don't forget, please drop your comments. Make them simple and simple. Share this video with others. And, you know, we're going to be doing a few discussions. I'll be cutting in or probably allow him to finish up. Um, then um, drop my comments with respect to what Sheung or Kimbalui has to say, let's listen to him. Yeah, it's my final word tonight. Mr. Mr. President, Senator, Senator Bola Tinubu, it is to you tonight that I bring the burden and plight of our people too. I trust this message finds you in good health and high spirits as you continue to navigate the intricate responsibilities that come with the esteemed position you hold. It is with a heavy heart and deep concern that I pass this message on the current state of our beloved nation, Nigeria. In a time when the heartbeat of our nation is raining with fear and the very fabric of our society is tearing at the seams, we stand at the crossroads. President Tinubu, the nation calls for your undivided attention as you embark on a private visit to France. Our beloved Nigeria is grappling with unprecedented challenges that demand urgent and decisive action. Kidnapping and abductions are the order of the day. From Lagos to Kaduna, Taraba, and violent and criminal activities have pervaded our land. Even in the heart of our nation's capital, the audacity of kidnappers has become a sinister reality. Striking fear into the heart of our people, our citizens are living in constant fear, unsure of their safety and the safety of their loved ones. This is not the Nigeria we dream of, not the renewed hope that was promised. We applaud the gallantry of our security operators, but indeed more work still needs to be done to keep the people safe. Efforts are being made, but it appears they are not far enough. What has become the strategies of, of the strategies of state policing and community policing has been talked about several years, and the huge white papers and advisory notes on how to tackle insecurity in Nigeria, where are they? President Tinubu, as a pro-democracy agitator, isn't it the right time to restructure Nigeria for it to work properly? Is the Nigeria you and your friends fought for? Is it the Nigeria that you're talking about? The removal of subsidies has unleashed a tidal wave of economic downturn, leaving families struggling to make ends meet. Prices of commodities have gone through the roof. The biting effects are felt across the nation, and the loss of confidence in the government is palpable. 
This is not a time for complacency. It is a time for bold and wavering leadership. Mr. President, I think it is about time to get the nation's head in one room and find a lasting cure to our failing economy. As you stand on foreign soil, Mr. President, remember the weight of your on your of your responsibility to the Nigerian people. Our citizens, including those who voted for you, are losing faith in the government. The implications of the loss of confidence are far reaching. And as a leader, you cannot afford to look away. Investors are fleeing the nation like never before. Economic potential of Nigeria is being squandered, and the consequences will be spread for generations. We urge you, Mr. President, to take immediate measures to create an environment that attracts and retains investment. The clock is ticking, and our economic future is at stake. Mr. President, the time to act is now. Sweet and decisive measures are needed to curb the escalating insecurity and evade the economy burden on citizens and restore the confidence in the government. This is not only a call to fulfill campaign promises, but a plea for the preservation of our great nation. Mr. President, our regional leadership is angry in the balance. Some members of Edwards are signaling edges, and Nigeria's influence is under threat. It is time to reassert your leadership. Strengthen diplomatic ties and secure our place in the community of nations. As journalists, we will not shy away from probing, inspiring, and holding leaders accountable. President Tunubu, live up to the expectations of your colleagues and the mandate upon which your office stands. The Nigerian people deserve more. They deserve a leader who acts with urgency, integrity, and unwavering commitment to the well being of our great nation. The challenges may be daunting, but if you are resolute, and carry the people along, we can all together overcome. The young man of Africa must now rise and take his rightful place in the community of nations and unearth his potential for the Nigerian people to smile again. God bless this Republic of Nigeria. Well, God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much, Shemo Kimbalui. Thanks for, you know, um, making this happen again. I know um, you have not always been quiet anyway, though you don't talk much as more as um, much as um, the likes of Rofai are saying it do. You know, people tend to want to listen to you more because they feel Rofai is uh, a bit very much uh, hot. And that, 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 that does not eliminate the fact that they, you, all told, you all are saying the truth. That does not eliminate the fact that you all are saying the truth. Nobody is, we're not criticizing. Nobody is going to put a knife to the neck of anybody. I mean, nobody's going to say, oh, uh, it's a must, you must do this. But when it calls, when there is a call, uh, when a call is made uh, with respect to your office and there are deficiencies, there are loopholes, then I think the, uh, the, 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 the best thing and the most important thing to do at that time is to um, block those loopholes. Look at where we are today. As of today, the dollar has risen to, I think, um, a thousand. The dollar has risen to 1,482 Naira, 57 Cobalt uh, Naira, you know. So the Naira continues free fall, you know, on the official window. 1,482 Naira, 57 Cobalt. I mean, that's the situation of things at the moment. Um, into some parts of construction and I know you know what materials say you know in the market on a daily basis with this fall now the prices we got yesterday is not going to be the same price today investment has become so so threatening so uh, um, so so much uh, it has become so fearful a thing that one cannot just jump into one is not going to one is not sure oh if I import these things at this cost, I hope I'm not going to be at loss. I hope I'm not going to be at loss. Now, the people who have bought things at this price now, we're not praying that the price, the dollar should, uh, the, the, the Naira should, um, should increase in value until they finish selling what they are selling. Because if the value of the Naira increases, they will be running at loss. They'll be running at loss because prices are changing with this exchange rate and all of that. I think, I think it's high time our leaders become conscious 
uh, awaken their consciousness, their consciences, their conscience rather. It's high time our leaders awaken their conscience. Don't say your conscience. Let's face the reality. You can't continue to do this to us. You can't continue to keep us here. Okay, a lot of people have traveled out of the country. A lot of people are traveling out now. What about those who cannot? Who can afford the millions that it is that that it demands from one? The United Kingdom and neighboring, you know, West African countries are, are making making a huge, you know, chunk of wealth out of Nigerians because we want to come and live on their land, because we want to come and live in their country. Yet our leaders are just here enjoying themselves. Please do something. Please. NLC was saying that the governors that are in the review, uh, the, the minimum wage review committee set up by the president, the governors, majority of the governors on that committee are not even paying the current minimum wage. So how do you expect anything to come out of that? Feel free to drop your comment, make them simple and simple. Let us know um, what your opinions are. Thank you very much for watching. It is still Serious Matters here at TV. We appreciate you. Don't forget to share our videos with others. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.